Missed it. Post with a rebound. Seven seconds left. Ahead to Stewart. Stewart for three. Got it! Deep. No ten. Lost the handle. Oh! E.J. Stewart saw a lane. Oh! oh. Waited. Early in game, so he's out for now. Trap the miss. Bulldogs come had eight points in the first half. It has shown that he can really be a solid player. Still, DJ Stewart cheers about the start your Bob. This year he missed the first. Here's St Stewart get a touch. Here's Stewart off the baseline, little flush. shooting 44% from deep to start this one. Entertaining start in Starkville. DJ Stewart off the bounce. Nasty crossover. Fade away and it's all dead. <laughs> Basically, all players are geeked to play. Yeah. And they're excited to start. And so I think you get a more consistent. This knocks down the three and you were absolutely right. The gentleman running the shot clock only has to worry about it when the team in white has the ball. The team in green not going to work. Because it goes back to the changing
Stewart Smith and a do. Alley oop underneath. It's a rebound, but a do comes out of there with it up ahead. It comes for the Bulldogs. Jalen Johnson. Missouri's going to have to continue to get better at. with the basketball. They haven't gotten back on a few possessions. Things that they did in the first half. Yeah, it's almost like at times this Missouri team feels like they were robbed. As Clinton went on Brown, kept the possession alive with two offensive rebounds. But here's Stewart back the other way. Nice pass conversations. If they win the game, like you said, there's going to be a lot of conversations anyway. But you got to win. Yes. Open fires and that one drop rebound to Stewart. DJ.
push factor. Earlier in the year, he would push it too far. He's making outstanding decisions. Which is not a far drive away from the campus of Auburn.